Yo, what's up everybody? Shizuki here and today we're back with another banger video. And today's video is about this epidemic. This epidemic that is going on with young men today. Young men have a problem with being themselves. We all fall trapped into it. If you don't think you fall trapped into it, I guarantee you do. You see all this information on the internet. Don't know what's true and what's false. And you kind of use that information to put that into your life and then you realize it doesn't work or you have people around you that try to tell you oh you should do this you should do this but you end up doing it and you end up not liking the advice they gave you and then you just stop messing with the people on top of that so this is what young men really should do you really just need to figure out what works for you that's the honest truth and the only way to do that is by just doing the things that you're uncomfortable with. If you do the things you're uncomfortable with, you will learn a lot about yourself. That's like, for example, we can go basic, the dating coach people. The dating coach people say, oh, if you go out and you do this, go to club, code approach, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, but that works for that person. It's a different case scenario. Everybody has a different bill. I had a conversation about this today. Everyone has a different player bill. So, what a tall guy can do, you can't do that as a shorter guy. You gotta have other attributes. You might be funny instead of like, you know, you having the tallness as an advantage or stuff like that. Everyone has a different stack of cars. So you can't just take another person's advice as your own because what works for somebody else is not gonna work for you. That's like, you got some people that drop out of school and become millionaires. And if they tell you to drop out of school, because some of them do it, be like, yeah, if you really want to be successful, drop out of school and become a millionaire. That's a luck chance. Like, I'm not going to sit here and say that success is just purely based on luck, because it's not. I, I agree, most of it's hard work, but like a couple percentage of it is luck. But at the same time, you shouldn't, everybody can't just drop out and get rich. Some people have to go through the jobs and stuff and do their thing. So... What I'm getting at here is you got to do what works for you guys because everyone has a different thing. Don't get mad because other people have like done this thing to become rich. That might not be your thing. You could try it. And I honestly, as young men, I would tell you guys, try a lot of different things. Do not be scared. Because that goes on back to the topic we were talking about before. Do not be scared of nothing. Try everything. If today you want to wake up and say, hey, I want to sell real estate. You wanna wake up tomorrow and say, hey, I wanna try cybersecurity. You wanna wake up tomorrow and say, hey, I wanna go work for the US Army or something like that. Go do it. Just go do it and figure out if you like it or not. When you're young, you have so much testosterone in your system. You have a lot of things going for you. A limited energy, a limited recovery time, the ability to just do things and you know, you can start over, start over, start over, start over, and you can still come back on top. So that's what you should be, you should be focused on. You shouldn't be worried about what somebody else said you do. Forget what your parents say, because your parents they'll tell you some things too that they might tell you to go to school. You might you might got a better plan for you. Like you might be like, man, I don't want to go to school. I want to try something different. And then guess what? If you if you go out there and try to do it differently, and you feel like well, school you, you eventually decide that school is the right thing, you can always still go. It is people try to put so much time limits on shit. If you gotta understand your age, if you're young, like. I'm 22, we're still young. Like we got time to do things, guys. You don't have to get rich quick. That's not everyone's journey. Everyone's journey is, you no, know, there's some people that get rich quick and good for them. But let's also break that down because on the back end, you don't see how much hard work that people do to get rich, bro. Anybody that got rich off of something, it was a lot of hours that they spent. That's the things y'all don't know about the back end work. It looks like they got rich quick to you because you just see them pop up on the internet and it just whoosh. but guess what y'all didn't see the hours they put in to making content beforehand with no views y'all ain't see that y'all don't know what goes on behind these other people's lives that's why i say y'all gotta be careful with this social media shit because social media is somebody's highlight reel it's not what goes on on the back end the mental health problems and all that kind of good stuff that goes on with people that really affects them but you see the good part of them having money and Lambos and all that. And also this too, guys. Nobody's better than you. I'm not better than you. Nobody on this planet is better than you. If you want to be Elon Musk level, go get to become Elon Musk level. It just takes time. You got to build it up, guys. 
You can do anything you want to do on this planet. I'm, I'm just sick and tired of people trying to tell everybody what to do. Y'all always got something to say about somebody. But if you really want to look at yourself and what you do, you're a hypocrite. Because most people are hypocrites. Because if we want to put everyone's life, even my life, on a laser lens, we're going to see that everyone has skeletons in their closet. Everyone does stuff they're not supposed to be doing. And I can even relate this to my own life, guys. It's been times that when I was making content, because if you guys watch my channels, you have known that I've done a lot of different things. You know, why do I eventually stop? Because of people. People start telling me everything I do is wrong and it should be done this way. But now to the point where it, it took me time to understand this. It doesn't matter what you say because you don't walk in my shoes. You walk your own shoes. Nobody walks my shoes but Rasheed Jackson. That's who walks his shoes. So I'm the one that got to put, put my clothes on, get out the bed, go make money. You people do not put no money in my pocket. So why your opinion is irrelevant to me. If you watch my content, and you enjoy my content, and you're going to support anything I do, those are the people that I want to watch. If you're not going to do that, kick rocks. Like It's literally that simple. And that's how you guys should feel about your own life. If it's anybody around you that is trying to tell you that you can't do something or it's wrong for you to do something a certain way, kick them out, bro. Kick them out. Because I had to do that. I had to reevaluate my circle and kick some people out because nobody around me, you should be supportive. Now, it's a way to criticize people without being like overly barren, just trying to tell them what they're doing is wrong. It's a way to criticize people because everybody needs criticism. I, I'm not saying don't get criticized, but I'm saying you shouldn't have people around you that's telling you that you can't do it because you ain't gonna never do nothing. You'll be an average Joe if you do that. If you surround yourself with people that's always beating you down when you got dreams and things like that, you're going to be an average Joe. And if you watch this channel, you're not an average Joe. I know it. Every last one of you has potential to do something. You all can accomplish your dreams because I'm going to accomplish mine. And social media is my dream. And I'm going to accomplish it. I'm going to do it this time because, listen, if I don't do it, I fail myself. And, I'm, and I know I can make great content because you guys have seen it. We all know that. The only problem is, it's just me listen, listening to other people and other people getting in my head. So I'm relating that back to you guys. Don't let nobody get in y'all head. Do what you want to do. If they're not with you, they're against you. Get them out. That's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope you guys take some insight for that and kick those people out that just talking bad, man. Get them out of here. But if y'all are new to the channel, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Sheesh, get out of here. You guys be safe. Enjoy a very blessed rest of your day. Peace out.